Hey everybody, Brennan Wagner here. I uh, know you can't recognize me behind the mask, but we just want to be full, uh, fully social distancing while we're doing these tutorials. So I want to show you something very interesting about a product that we have on hairfabric.com and also at the salon called Style Edit. Style Edit, this is Blonde Perfection. This is a root retouch powder. This is designed for those of you that are naturally dark, going blonder, and when you don't want to see your regrowth in between color visits, you use this to camouflage your roots. But we're going to use it for a very dramatic, very on-trend look called a money piece. So, of course, you can see that Corinne here has virgin hair, no color in there. What we're going to do is we're going to give her the effect of having that nice, big, bold highlight right in the front of her hairline. And we're just going to use it with this cosmetic. So, if you've never seen this before, the Style Edit comes in a great little package. This is the package itself. It has a little mirror right there. This is the powder and underneath on the bottom is the sponge that you use for the applicator itself. So normally you just be touching up your roots with this, but we're gonna be using this in a little bit of a creative way today. So the first thing what I wanna do is I wanna section off the area that I'm gonna create the money piece on. So because I don't want to really have any look of having a root per se, I'm actually gonna carve out a little triangle in the front hairline here. She's got a mixture of, she's got some short hair here, she's got some bangs, and then she has the longer face framing. It's really the longer face framing that we're gonna be focusing on. So right here, this is the section in which we're actually gonna turn into what we're gonna call the money piece. It's a very on-trend look right now, a lot of people are doing it. Uh, the only downside of doing it is that it can actually be damaging for the hair because you're putting a lot of lightener on that front hairline where a lot of people already they might have uh, an alpha hydroxy acid cleanser that they use that weakens the hairline. They probably blow dry their hair a lot or use a thermal styler to hit that front area. So really bleaching that area is a little bit more dangerous. So you gotta be careful of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little section of hair. We're gonna use a dry texturizer from Dab and Esmore inside. And I am just gonna spritz a little bit of this product on there. So what dry texturizer is, what I want you to imagine is that a hairspray had a baby with a dry shampoo. So it's got a little bit of hold in there, but it also puts a little bit of a powder residue. And what that's gonna do is help clean the hair, like just like a dry shampoo, but also give you a little bit of texture and hold. And we kind of need that for this effect that we're doing, simply because we need to have something to hold up powder to. If the hair's very, very, very clean, it doesn't stick as well. So having a little bit of dirt, or putting a little bit of product on there is always the best bet. So, I'm gonna do is take our sponge, load it up with the product, and I'm going to start applying right here all the way down to the root. And because her hair is, can I actually have you hold on? There you go, perfect. Because her hair is, you know, it's not super dark, but it definitely is a, it's a light brown. We're gonna put a good amount of this product on here. And we're gonna go all the way down to the ends. The beautiful thing about the Style Edit powder is that even though it's a powder, it's not um, very dusty. It has a good weight to it itself. So it actually doesn't fly away too much because you know the older chalk-based products that used to be on the market, or still are on the market, I should say, they have a tendency to be a little flyaway and they get everywhere. So of course you can see I have product on my hand, but that's, I'm literally putting the product right onto my palm anyway. We're gonna go all the way down to the ends here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of flip the hair back. Look, we got a lot of color on there already. That's great. Get that root. Go all the way up. All the way to the ends. Now, all I'm gonna do is take the comb and brush it out. I'm gonna hit it one more time, the dry texturizer, or you can switch over to a hairspray at this point. I'm gonna get these pieces out of here. And with a boar bristle brush, I am just going to comb out. And there we go. We just gave her a platinum money piece zero damage and that took maybe what five minutes so this is going to stay in her hair as long as she doesn't shampoo it once she shampoos it of course it's going to come right out and she'll be back to her virgin hair again all right so 
Hope that you enjoyed that. Remember, on HairFabric.com, we're always here to answer your questions. You can chat with us through the website, or you can actually call us on our phone number listed on the website. We want to help you make the right choices for your hair care. So please reach out to us whenever you need us. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.